Hey folks, Kaneo here, just bringing you another how-to video for Lord of the Rings Online. I know it's been a while. Uh, this is a very overdue video, uh, an instruction on how to install plugins on the Lotro game. Um, so it's it's quite overdue, uh, but for new and current players of Lotro, uh, you still may find it very useful. Uh, I'm not super active in the game any longer, so I can't really tell you what the uh, current best mods and plugins are, um, but I can tell you how to install them and, and get going with them uh, so that you can find your own. Um, so I'm going to be using a, a guide that I used whenever I first installed plugins. Uh, so uh, this guide, special thanks to Grindelwald from the Cliff Divers Middle Earth, uh, Cliff Divers of Middle Earth Guild Portal website. Uh, I'll be using his. Um, instructional here as a very brief walkthrough. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need is a program that supports uh, 7-zip files or .7z. Uh, a good program is 7-zip. Uh, another you might use is WinRAR. I'm going to include in the description below a link to the 7-zip website so that you can download and install that. It's a free install. Um, so step one, uh, you're going to need to download the sample plugins from Turbine. Uh, I'll include a link in the description below. Download that and then what you'll do is go to your documents, my documents um, if you're on Windows XP or documents if you're on Vista or Windows 7. From there you'll see a, uh, a folder called Lord of the Rings Online. This is where it stores all your screenshots and any other game data for your uh, user. Uh, as you can see, I've got a number of screenshots installed. So from here, you're going to, or a number of screenshots taken. Uh, from here, you're going to create a new folder, and you're going to call it Plugins. Now, I won't be able to do that. I've already got a Plugins folder. Uh, so uh, at the moment, if I try to do that, I'm just going to get some errors. So. Um, once you've got your plugins folder, as you can see here, uh, you're going to create that new folder, download the um, the uh, sample plugins, and then you extract it to this folder. You can save the zip file in here if you want to, and then do the extraction. Uh, again, the link for that download is going to be in the description of this video. So step two, you're going to actually need to install a plugins manager. I'll include a link to one uh, that I use, um, the plugins manager found on the uh, lotrointerface.com website. So you'll extract that uh, file into your plugins folder. And then at that point, you can download and install any plugins of interest. My personal favorites being Buff Bars and Bevio Bars. Uh, there may be new ones and better ones since the last time I've really taken a look at plugins. Um, uh, also, special note, before you get started on this, you're going to probably want to close the game client or else you may want to, uh, you'll have to restart the client after you've got it all installed. Uh, personally, I've already got them installed, so once you log into the game, you're really not going to see anything different. So in order to get started actually using your plugins, first thing you'll do is you're going to type in a new command, slash plugins, load manager. That's going to load your manager, your plugins manager. And then you can do slash man from there to open up the actual manager. And this is going to display for you all of the plugins that you have installed. Now you can actually go and um, locate and load each individual plugin. You don't need a manager, but it really does make it a lot easier to use. You can see here I've got turned on bevy of bars and buff bars. By checking the box next to each plugin, it turns it on and off, uh, and you can reload them. Uh, each individual plugin is also going to have a uh, setup command so that you can open up the actual command for it. Now you can see here whenever I loaded those plugins uh, I had a couple of things pop up. One is a bunch of new bars on which I've in placed some of my uh, inventory items to get them off of my normal quick bars. This gives me a lot more uh, access 
without having to uh, cluster, clutter up my bars. And if you click on the buff bar setup, I've created an alias down here. Uh, it opens up the buff bar options. So that is an example of how you can access that. So that brings me to how you can actually create these aliases. Uh, there's a number of different ways. Usually I'll do something, you do slash shortcut, and then the number on the bar that you want to use. Let's go 5. And um, then do the command slash plugins, plugins, man or load manager. Now it's created a shortcut on my quick bar slash plugins load manager. Whenever I click on that, it's actually going to load the manager. Now since I've already got it loaded, it's not going to actually do anything. And then you can either type slash manager or slash man and it will open it up. Um, what I would recommend doing here is what I've done down here in the lower right. I've created a shortcut for each of the primary um, commands that I use. Now I've already got a slug in, uh, slash plugins load manager and I've already got the plugin loaded and running so whenever I click on this new shortcut it's really not doing anything. Um, so what you'll want to do is something like that makes it easier to load uh, because you're going to have to actually load the plugins every time you log into the game uh, they don't turn on by default so keep that in mind and uh, you can set up the plugins however you want to um, also anytime you switch characters you're going to have to load that manager so hopefully this is helpful uh, please post any comments uh, if you have any other questions and I will try to address them Thank you, and uh, you have fun. Enjoy the plugins.